says here that Sirius Black has escaped from the wizard prison Azkaban. No one's ever broken out before. Twelve years ago, Black murdered 13 people with a single curse. Well, at least we'll be safe at Hogwarts. What's wrong, Harry? Wrong? I overheard your dad talking about Sirius Black last night. The Ministry of Magic thinks he's after me. Black's escaped to come after you? Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Don't go looking for trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. But they'll catch him, won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him, too. <sighs> Scabbers, come back! Can't you keep that monster under control? Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake Professor Lupin. Don't worry, Ron. We'll help you find Scabbers. Oh, brilliant. Scabbers can't go anywhere. doesn't understand there that it's goes. wrong to chase Scabbers. You can cast Alahamora to open that door, Harry. Hold down the left mouse button to activate your wand. Keep holding while you move the mouse to aim your wand. That's it. Now let go of the mouse button and you'll cast... There he is! We can climb over this luggage, Harry. We just need to walk up to it and we'll be able to start climbing. We'll have to jump up to climb over those crates. Right then, you lead the way. Walk forward towards the crates and click the right mouse button to jump. Let's pick up these dirty boss beans. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulso. Depulso! Oh, oh, nice one, There's Mike. You, should I? Goodness. Right. Now, where's that cast Alahamora to open it, Hermione? It'll store our adventures up to this point. Oh, great. Scabbers went behind that wall. Oh, really, Ron? You might think about training your rat. Wow! It's a magically locked cabinet. We need to cast at the same time to open it. All three of us. I'll start, and you two join in. Hello, Mora. Lumos. Watch out! Does everyone remember how to cast a pulse? The pulse on the did they? Probably the only place you could find a friend. Actually, I do have a rather interesting friend I'd like to meet. Everyone play nicely now. Oh no. What's that monstrous looking book? Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. <laughs> the pages. We'll knock them out of the air, Harry. <laughs> 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 Well done! Is it okay to scream now? Right, you really do need to work on the accuracy of your spell casting. A wizard card. I love collectors. If we search around enough of them, we could find all 80 collector's cards. We can look inside the Folio Universitas after picking up a collector's Scabbers. card. Press the escape key and click on the You've picture given of the us card a lot at of the trouble, top of the screen. Useless rat. Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed.
Harry, Ron, and Hermione were delighted to be back at Hogwarts. Harry's encounter with the Dementor had caused him no serious harm, other than a growing feeling of dread. The three friends hurried to their first class of the term, anxious to resume their lessons. I'm Professor Lupin, your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Our first lesson involves the spell Carpe Retractum. Ron Weasley, would you please join me? Um, me? Are you sure? Uh, Hermione's loads better at spells. You'll do fine, Ron. Just step through this door to begin. Welcome to the Carpe Retractum Challenge, Ron. There are ten challenge shields scattered throughout the challenge. Some are well hidden. Find all ten shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. If you don't find all the shields your first time through, you can always come back. Complete the challenge by collecting the final shield. Let's get started. Carpe Retractum has two primary uses. To pull yourself towards something, or to pull something towards you. See if you can find a statue to cast the spell at. Then, watch what happens. You can't make me try to! A sponge if I talk! Excellent. You can also use Carpe Retractum to pull certain levers. Maybe not. See if you first cast Spongify on the tile to make it bouncy. You can jump over pits like this one, Ron. Hold down the forward arrow key to run towards it. When you get to the edge, Carpe Retractum can also be used on certain ropes. Now give it a go. Um, Professor Lupin? That thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an imp, Ron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Go ahead, Ron. See if you can pick up a wizard, Ron. Now let's put your training to the test. To the test? Splendid, Ron. Oh, right! Pumpkin pasties! These are worth a lot more. Oh. Rip the Sandra! 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 Whoa! A cauldron cake! I'll bet they're worth a lot. Can't play retractor! Not too sure about Can't this. Can't play retractor! Carpe Retractor! Carpe Retractor! Hello, uh, Professor? That's a fire crab, Ron. Be careful. It can shoot fire out of its, um, well, out of its backside. Cast Rictu Sempra to knock it over. Then cast again as needed to knock the fire crab into the trap. Rictu Sempra! Rictu Sempra! Please tell me that's the way out! Rictu Sempra! Rictu Sempra! Rictu Sempra! Rictu Sempra! Carpe Retractor! Whoa! Carpe Retractor! Whoa! 
Unfortunately, you didn't find all of the challenge shields. You'll need all ten to unlock the beam bonus room. So, come back anytime you want to give the challenge another go. What's that thing? Oh, I hope Hagrid doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> Welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this term. I'd like to introduce you to Buckbeak. He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky and give him a bow. You won't have me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's a good hippogriff. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. Well done, Buckby. Well 
done, Buckby. Collector's card. That was really well done, Harry. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you, you great ugly brute? I'm dying. Look at me. It's killed me. You're not dying. Do you think he'll be all right? Of course. Madam Pomfrey can make cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. It's Weasel, Grunge, and Potty. Peeves. I don't like the look of that armor. He's locked us in! I bet we could beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your Carpe Retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three Ickle Playmates. Ha ha ha! You were brilliant, Ron. It's easy to be brilliant when you're scared half to death. We'd better get on to Transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. Hello, and welcome to Transfiguration class. One of the most advanced Transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an Animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example... Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Let's begin with the Lapifor spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Lapifors! Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. Push the... Well done. Now, take note of the mound of earth. Position the rabbit... Press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell. Right. Or simply Use the left the mouse button to chew or rabbit. dig. And the spell will stop on its own. Splendid, Miss Granger.
now let's move on to the Draconifor spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Miss Granger is a Bandiman. A Bandiman will expel a foul trail of slime that you will need to avoid. Ugh! It's repulsive! You can cast Richter Sempra to stun a Bandiman. Then, if you're quick enough, you can jump on top of it to see if it will produce a reward. Richter Sempra! Nicely done, Miss Granger. You've completed the challenge. But you need to collect all ten challenge shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. You may take the challenge again any time you please. Thank you, Professor McGonagall. You can be certain I'll get all of the shields next time. Hermione! There you are! How was it? Excellent. I can turn things into dragons now. Wicked! You mean the flying, roaring, burn down the village sort of dragon? Um, no. It's just a very small, transfigured dragon. Oh, shame. You can have another go at the challenge if you like, Hermione. Or we can come back and do it another time. Though the following morning was stormy and fun, Harry was excited to be playing in the first Quidditch match of the season.
Now, we obviously can't bring a real Dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with the Boggart. The Boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a Dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Aim your wand at the target. Then, hold down the left mouse button to build the spell's power. You'll see a ring of light move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is Expecto Patronum. Right. Expecto Patronum. Excellent cast, Harry. Expecto Patronum. Harry. Expecto Patronum. Just one more Patronum. Fantastic. Three perfect casts, Harry. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. Explore the surrounding chambers and be ready to use the Patronum. <laughs> No, Harry, concentrate. The Boggart has taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears. Expect a <laughs> Before the spell has time to wear off. Expect a Glacius is useful for freezing a number of things, Harry. Let's begin with an Amazonian salamander, shall we? Take care now, Harry. You'll need to eliminate both the creature and its fire. Give it a try. Glacius! Glacius! Harry. Excellent. Wow, it's solid ice. Here's the best bit, Harry. Time to go for a slide. Just use the left and right arrow keys to turn. Press the up arrow to go faster and the down arrow to slow down. Off you go. I'll see you at the end of the challenge. Thank <laughs> you. 
I see you didn't find all of the challenge shields. Ah, it's a shame. Well, come back any time you want to give the challenge another try. Find all ten shields and you'll get to go to the bean bonus room. Thanks, Professor Flitwick. I'll be back. So, how was it? You can freeze things now. I can slide everywhere. Oh, wicked! And salamanders the size of Hagrid. The blue or the scarlet variety. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. You can have another go at the Glacier's Challenge if you want, Harry. Or we can come back later. Despite the dangerous visitor lurking around Hogwarts, Harry insisted on going to visit Hagrid. He was anxious to hear the outcome of Buckbeak's trial. Was that? I think it was. Poor Buckbeak! Poor Hagrid. They've carried out the execution. Look! It's Scabbers! You see, Ron? Crookshanks was innocent! Do you naughty rat? Oh, run! Hurry! Ah, 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 look out! Ah, the whopping willow! If that dog can get in, we can. Thank you. 
Sirius Black is not what you think he is. And Scabbers, he's not a rat. He's a wizard by the name of Peter Pettigrew. What? Watch. I can explain. Pettigrew's an Animagus. It wasn't Sirius Black who betrayed your parents, Harry. It was Pettigrew. You're sure you set the time turn about the right amount? I'll see what's in there. Bundify. Bundify. 
Hello. A lot of good that did. Now we're both stuck in here. Good job.
you ready? Ah, glad to see you three survived your final exams. Oh, they were great fun. Speak for yourself. I'll be having nightmares for months. Well then, let's see whether you've completed all of your third year requirements. Looks like you got... <gasps> well done, all of you. You've completed your third year requirements. Splendid work. Absolutely splendid. <laughs> <laughs> 